Tonight, Haunted Lancaster brings us to the river town of Columbia, where the Historical Society Museum is home to more than just displays. We may have over 20,000 articles of uh, historic artifacts from Columbia housed in these buildings. Many of the items have been dug out of tunnels, cisterns, and basements. This town has seen so many changes over the years that there is history literally in every block. This was more than a melting pot area of the United States with the industry, you know, for, for the river, you know, the, the, the uh, lumber yards, uh, the steel mills, uh, the silk mills, uh, the traveling, the businesses. Uh, this was a very great place to come. With all the artifacts gathered together, that's when things get interesting. We have a lot of walkers, uh, people who may have been church people, members back in the day, and uh, I believe the uh, caretaker and his wife live here. This building creaks and groans, while visitors have heard and seen things not of this world. Has to be hundreds of accounts. A uh, woman on the back steps gets slapped in the mid 1980s. Uh, I've seen full body apparitions walk through past windows while I'm doing work. Uh, I've had my name called behind my head. Chris. The spirits that walk these halls seem to understand that their story is being told. Their history and the work they did is being shared with all, so they never get out of hand. The museum's current owners say they don't mind being surrounded by the ghosts of this town's past. They're allowed to stay here as long as they want, you know, because they, you know, it, it, you got to understand when you collect so many objects, you do not know what's attached to those objects. You've seen the building and you've heard their stories. Now it's time for you to decide. For Haunted Lancaster, I'm Peter Taraborelli.